another real quick update on the Wilden end mill sharpening fixture. So what we've got here is an air bearing spindle. So we've got about 40 to 50 psi air which just floats this uh, shaft on a cushion of air. There's also air that comes out the end of each side of the bearing which provides also a bit of like an end thrust I guess you would say. So it doesn't actually contact anywhere along the travel. It's actually just air on air. There's no metal on metal and therefore no wear over time. So to give you an idea of how this thing floats, I'm just going to spin it and just let it go. Time for your dimension. Back from intermission, ready for feature part two. If you take a look at the way it's running, that's just beautiful. And it's still going from that same spin. So the compressed air at 40 or 50 psi is a lossy feed. It does require a compressor, which is why you can hear the compressor in the background. Um, obviously we will need to make sure that uh, the compressor in the future is in a quiet place so that we don't have to put up with that noise all the time. But the actual spindle itself is quite quiet in operation. There's no real hissing or uh, noise coming from the spindle itself. been nearly two minutes now. Basically by putting a, 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 a valve on it. You're only doing it while you do that, then you turn it off. Ah uh, yeah, so Mel's just said as long as we've got a uh, on-off air valve on this, we just turn it on when we need air for the actual cutting operation and then turn it off for the rest of the time. Um, whilst we're here, we'll take a bit of a segue across to the Elliott surface grinder. This particular uh, 820 had an option of an air spindle for mounting the actual uh, drive shaft. And that would have been quite a nice option to have on this thing. Essentially, no wear, no heat up time. Typically when you first start up a surface grinder, you need to operate it for a little bit of time in order to um, get everything bedded in and at temperature and you'd normally keep things running whilst you do whilst you're set up and you're uh, facing your, your cutter and everything like that. Um, and essentially with an air spindle you don't have to do that, you can just be on and running from straight away. And I guess if we come back to here, we're still spinning. It's nearly three and a half minutes now since we first spun it. I mean, it must have slowed down, but it's still going. Um, but isn't that amazing? That is an air spindle. All right, compressor's back on. Bye for now. Real quick update on the wrong foo. Thanks to some input from Adam Carmichael, I was able to confirm the recoil spring I needed for the quill. And I managed to get that uh, organized. And that came to me from here in Forbes. Thank you very much, guys. Um, about 20 bucks or something so not too bad at all and that just means that I've then got a recoil spring on the quill I was looking at another video series where um, another youtuber has put a, a gas spring what do they call those an air shock or a gas strut to take all the backlash out of the quill so that's another pop possible option to consider but I think first things first see how we go taking a cut as it is I'll still need to make a cup to sit over the top of that so that um, I can adjust. It'll have six slots in it so I can bring in 60 degrees at a time 
adding spring tension to to recoil the uh, the quill. Anyway, that's another little the quick last little happy place for today. Year eleven. C12 100, so 12 mil shaft diameter, 100 mil shaft length. It's clear all the way through, and it's a slimline ER11 collet head. It comes with a spanner to suit, and this is what we'll be using to make a copy of Stefan's decal collet spindle for uh, holding work. So that's an ER11, and it looks really, really quite nice, well made, uh, ER11M clamping. Uh, all, some total of about $8.50, including shipping. I mean, just blow away. Anyway, that means we can now progress to building up the spindle for ER11 collets on the decal. Thanks for watching.